This is Dr. Richard Lukingay, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, battery life and um, how these batteries work with your hearing devices. So you can locate your hearing device. In this case, we're going to be using one of these small behind-the-ear devices. We call these smart devices because uh, they do a lot of really great things uh, where they can talk to uh, telephones, cell phones, uh, assistive listening devices, etc. So with this type of device, most of them take a battery that looks like this. It's called a 312 battery and the 312 battery is easily to identify by the brown color. So either the tab will be brown or the casing uh, you know that you're using, the, the storage case will be brown itself. To get the best life for your battery, what we recommend is take the tab off the battery, okay, and uh, allow the flat side or the positive side to remain up towards the air. The reason for this is there are little holes or ports that allow oxygen to uh, swell the battery and give it a full charge. And so I'm going to place this down here and uh, what you do is you just let that sit for about a minute or two. After that time has passed by you uh, of course just put the battery inside the device and you're ready to go. Um, battery life for smart devices is typically anywhere from five to six days if you are a full-time user. For example, our patients are instructed to use their hearing devices anywhere from 10 to 15 hours. By doing so, their hearing devices with, with a good full charged battery will last about five to six hours, or I'm sorry, five to six days. Another thing to note is that if you are a very active patient where you use your hearing device with smartphones or assistive devices, your battery life will decrease significantly, taking you all the way down to somewhere between two and four days. Uh, I hope that helps and uh, thank you.